Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, these 20. Last video of the year, last trading day of the year. Uh, for me, we're closing the books after today. Been a long and tedious year. Uh, volatility super low. Uh, but also, um, the trading hasn't been great. I look back through my years trading. I've done a poor job uh, taking advantage of the few opportunities that were there, um, taking profit a little early on some trades, screwed up the execution on uh, some other trades, a lot of things that need to be fixed, um, a lot of sacrifices that need to be made. Uh, and these sacrifices get bigger and bigger the older you get, the harder it is in this business. Um, so it's uh, time to take 10 days off after today, take a good hard look at, at uh, my trading year and try to come up with some things that I can do better, uh, things that I can polish up and then get ready for 2020 front foot for a new, for a new journey, a new adventure uh, in the trading business. Listen, that said, uh, we do have one more trading day here. There is uh, some money to possibly be made, so let's take a look at what's going on. Not a lot. Uh, we had tiny ranges last night, 11-point range in Euro. Um, it looks like the Euro is going to try this this 111, the figure. Uh, we saw some bids at 110.05 yesterday in front, I mean at 111.05 in front of this sort of key level we do have some numbers that may push this right we've got um, current account producing prices consumer confidence in euro um, we have GDP in the UK retail sales in Italy uh, but we also have GDP in the US and I guess that's really the big number here so um, Europe again looks like we're gonna have a a dim-witted, dopey uh, morning, uh, but we are looking at this level. Our preferred side is the other side. Uh, we do think the first trade of the year next year is going to be euro higher. So, but as typically would happen, we will we'll take one more move left just to um, spook out a few more bulls. That move might be 15 points through 111. It might be 80 points through 111. Uh, but it looks like we got one more move left in us. Uh, that would be typical. And then into the new year, I think you're going to see the first trade of the year will be um, a dollar sell and a currency buy. So be that as it may, we will consider that after some time off. But today we will be looking at this 111. Uh, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be watching this 111 area quite closely. Uh, we've been teasing. We've been teasing on it for a long time now, and let's see how she goes. We've been talking about this euro yen, um, which has been kind of annoying this week. 111.40 is 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 a mildly interesting point. We traded 42. Um, Yesterday, obviously 38, 39 was the um, was the low on the big move up. That was the first starting bar of the big move up. The Friday, the 13th low was 46. Um, so I'm I'm just considering through 40. This will be the last of the euro yen longs to get washed out makes no sense uh, why euro yen is here I mean you, you could make sense of it obviously you could make a very bearish case for Europe strikes in, in France and you know hidden bankruptcy in Italy and you know on and on and on I could I could make a great bear case I could make a great bull case uh, for any country that you want me to uh, but it looks like uh, they're gonna squeeze out some euro yen longs here this may um, be driven by euro dollar through 111 the figure it's 
it's been a botch. Uh, the Urien shorts, uh, no, no other, no other way to describe it. Um, but been a shitty little trade. One let one twenty one forty worth worth looking at. Uh, dollar yen, uh, interesting. We never got through that seventy level. Wow. And then yesterday we had a very bearish day. Uh, not sure why. Obviously, equities went to a, a new all-time high. Uh, fixed income was ripping, so yields are higher, equities are higher, and yet dollar yen bearish engulfed. Uh, this looks like it wants to head south. It has no teeth. These moves, the volatility sucks. I'm not expecting much fall fall through. But that was quite an interesting bar, and this thing does look like it wants to head south. So if you want to position trade this, you want to be short. We will not be uh, playing that game because this is the last trade of the year, so it's just tactical hit and run today. Keep in mind, 109.70 uh, is still an important level, and there will be now stops above there, and this is now just a classic break trade. So if you want to break trade that, just leave a 72 stop and uh, see what happens when they call you for the fill what else is out there Aussie uh, creeping back up middle of the range not doing too much uh, dollar cad on the fix yesterday pushed up to about 40 now is it 30 not much to see here I do believe we have some cad news today um, just checking that. No, no real CAD news off that. Um, not much to say in CAD. We do have uh, budget news out of um, South Africa. Emerging market volatility index is at the all time lows. Uh, people are piling into uh, emerging markets, particularly RAND, because Turkey is, is a bit screwed. And now Mex is a bit extended. Uh, Russia is seeing two-way flows, um, but so people are particularly piling into Rand. This looks like uh, this looks completely idiotic. Uh, why would you be piling into Czar at this moment in time? But every day at the fix, people buy Czar. And excuse me. Yeah, people buy czar, sell dollars. Um, we do have budget news today. Um, you know, balanced budget is at, at 1 p.m. Any financial news coming out of South Africa is never really that great, so be careful with that. I would be super careful following um, this flock uh, into lower dollar czar. This looks terribly stupid to me. Um, but here we are, you know, we're, we're, we're 25 handles below the, four, the key 1415 level. Uh, the classy support is, is probably 1405. Um, and so if you want to throw a little tactical trade uh, into the new year, see if they push this thing down to 1405. Stocks, another new all time high. This surprised me yesterday. Um, as it surprised me for a lot of this year. Um, quad witching today, so there will be some vol in stocks. I assume that vol, um, well, I assumed yesterday that vol would, would push this thing left. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. We've already made a new high today up at uh, 1375, 28% for the year. Uh, if I had the energy right now, I'd stand up and give the stock market a standing ovation because that is one hell of a year good job good job stock market here are the tens a uh, little bit of a turn bar yesterday I can't believe we didn't get through this uh, 127.30 price point but now it's like a nice little triple bottom down there for the technical guys around us who want to trade this technically um, but it looks like tens and boons. This doesn't really give it justice because you want to be looking at the yield. Uh, I'll help you with that by telling you the yield right now. 192.4 on the tens and 23.5 basis points, minus 23.5 basis points on the boons. Um, 
the boons have been good to us this year, short boons. Uh, we're thankful for that. We do like boons um, to, to go another 80, 80 basis points uh, to end up around the plus 50 uh, in the coming months. So there's more juice in that trade. Tens also we are going to get through 210, maybe get up to 250. So short bonds uh, still looks sexy to us. That's all we got. We're waiting for GDP. Um, we're happy this year is over. Like I said, uh, easily the worst trading year P&L wise for my career. I've had some other trading years where I made a lot of money, but it was mentally just torture. Um, this year mentally hasn't been too bad and maybe that's there's something to that maybe i didn't care enough uh this year i need to start caring more i don't know uh after today i'll take 10 days and and, and take a hard look at this year and again see what sacrifices need to be made to get better for next year i encourage you all to do the same um and with that, I will wish you a happy holiday season. Take some time with your family. Take some time on your own as well. Do some thinking. This is a very hard business. It takes a lot of effort and energy. Um, make a good plan for 2020. And then when it's ready to get going, be rested and energized to attack the next year front foot. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it. Ciao.